Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. <clears throat> and today I have a, a bottle on my cask that is really exciting me. It's the George Dickel bottled in bond, 13 years old. One of my favorite bottles or one of my favorite whiskies is, uh, was maybe, the George Dickel, I think nine year old, and the other one was Special Barrel or something like that. That was around 10 years old, like the oldest George Dickel there was up until now. And now we have a 13 year old expression. Distilled in spring 2007, normal process uh, at George Dickel, that means Lincoln County process. Um, to, so it can be called a Tennessee whiskey. For all of you beginners out there, it's not a bourbon, it's a Tennessee whiskey. There is a difference. And yeah, it's a very, very, George Dickel is a very, very smooth whiskey. I think they smooth a hollow, uh, smooth as moonshine or something. Uh, like uh, Cascade Hollow Distiller, they have something like, like something they are especially smooth or something like that. And the strange thing is, they always used to have, for their oldest bottle, they used to have a, a really uh, fancy bottle design. This now here is the, the normal bottle design, I would say, where you get the George Dickel, I think they have a, a number 12 or number 8, something like that. And yeah, that's the normal, normal bottle design, but now with an 18-year-old a uh, 13 year old whiskey. It's one of these older American whiskeys. They are really, really rare. So one question to you out there, uh, do you like old American whiskey? Not many people do apparently, otherwise they would produce more. And yeah, because of that, it's very rare and very expensive, about 130 around there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's really smooth. It's really, really smooth with, uh, starts off with um, vanilla caramel like that bourbon style but even a bit smoother around the edges as it is that Lincoln County process for the Tennessee whiskey ah uh, and it's it's very light and elegant but you can already feel it feels more the you have more caramel less vanilla and the caramel feels like a, a dark brown chocolate caramel really need a haircut no oh. mm. 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 very sweet very dry in my mouth it has 50 percent abv so 100 proof whiskey is quite quite intense it is intense it, but you feel that it has no edges it's it's not a, a edgy whiskey you don't feel any any particular spiciness that tickles you or mm, it just feels very smooth all around your mouth but very very oaky um bourbon style vanilla caramel especially on the caramel and um a little bit of a orange zesty thing going on although that might be a remembrance i had to try this bottle again now because uh yeah, the sound uh was not available in the first try and it had more of a orangey peel touch to it when i tried it the first time so yeah it is it is different to when you try it when you feel it it was more fruity but Maybe that uh, the bottle yesterday was also a little bit warmer. Mm. 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 But I do love that very smoothness of that Tennessee style whiskey combined with uh, that old maturation age. I really like it. Mm, that's one of my one of my dearest. Not quite sure how it compares to the nine year old George Dickel which I really liked. This here is in the aftertaste. It has a little bit of much, yeah, I would say woodiness, oakiness. It's a little much, but I still love the, how it 
comes on on your mouth. I really like it. So, yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. This was my take on the George Stickle, 13 years old. Thank you very much, and see you next time.